Hello, hello, happy Friday. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are tuning in from. It's good to be back, good to see you. Um, today, we have a new video premiering right after the stream. It's Hikari the Warrior from Octopath Traveler 2. So that's very exciting. Um, uh, it'll redirect after the stream. There's also links to that uh, in the pin chat and also in the description. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, I love the Hikari with a Y there, Caladrius. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, hello to everyone that's here already. Donald Caladrius, PhD. Hello, Alex, Rebecca, Pengi, nice and early today. Annie, uh, Brandroid, Lady Eduardia, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hype Kari, there you go, exactly. How are y'all doing? How's our week? I haven't positioned my bench exactly where I want it yet, so. A little bit of wiggling to do, I think. It's not bad. Maybe a little closer. I always go, it's too close, and then I move back and I'm like, no, now it's too far. to my sister's wedding and like like the ceremony was like about to start and it's like I just like showed up I didn't have my dress on I didn't have like my hair and makeup done actually like no one except for Melissa did <laughs> I don't know what was going on and then and then I like found my dress but then I don't know there's this whole thing about like, my mom had to get a new cake because they had the cake in the fridge. But my granny, who is deceased, apparently had eaten some, so they had to get a new cake. Um, and then a bunch of the cake flew away. I don't know. It flew away. It's a dream. Don't question it. The cake flew away onto my dress. And I had to try to find a dry cleaner who could clean it in, like, an hour. So... John, you're testing your Bluetooth speakers today. Excellent, excellent, excellent. conclusively figure out why dreams who knows man who knows a little bit of a weird way to wake up today but you know sometimes it'd be like that that's okay um sorry i just completely lost my entire train of thought i was gonna say happy pikmin release day i played a little bit this morning i feel like my husband, Eric, is like, he really likes Pikmin. He's been really excited for the release, so I'm probably going to have to take a backseat and, like, just kind of steal the Switch when he's doing something else <laughs> in order to play it, but, uh, yeah. Did I realize at a certain point in the dream that you were dreaming? No. I don't think I did until I woke up, and then I was like, what? What? Let's, um, just to honor Pikmin... I wonder if there's any sheet music out for it. The trailer intro? Could try it. Oh, this is like the, yeah, okay. This, oh god, why is it, why is it literally in C-sharp major? How dare. I'm very offended, but we'll do it. That's seven sharps, by the way. If ever there is a time for the sharp emote. It would be now.
like kind of a weird and wonky theme on the title screen. It makes me think of like contemporary classical music. All of it. I don't know. It's kind of um not the most melodic theme tune, but it's my attempt at the Pikmin 4 like title screen music. Uh, <laughs> to celebrate the release day. <laughs> yes, Bilbo was surprised too. Don't know where he went, but whatever. Seven sharp emos don't even fit on a single line in YouTube chat. It fits for me, but I guess it depends on your screen. Anyway. Anyway. Um We'll play some play some music. That's not seven sharps. Alright. Let's do a little Animal Crossing. Little stale cupcakes. Kaladrius, thank you for the 20 months. Every time you get a new month, I'm like, it's been that long? Yes, apparently it has. Crazy. Okay, it's a nice little warm-up piece for us. I've been working on, like, this and, like, a couple other pieces that have, like, a lot of, like, of these kind of, like, little fragments that are like up high but they need to be soft and it's like it's so hard to phrase soft up here and legato very smooth and so what's very interesting is it's like always if your hand is more relaxed it'll sound better and it's like if any little bit of tension creeps in anywhere in your arm you can hear it So it's like you have to try not to try. So it's an interesting challenge. Been streaming on YouTube for longer. This is just from when you opened up subscriptions, I know. <gasps> Time flies, man. Jeez Louise. Now I'm just thinking about when I used to stream on Twitch. 
Sometimes I think about that, like, when I go for a walk in the morning, because, like, what I used to do is, like, I'd go for a walk and then come back and start streaming. Wild times, man. Okay, let's do a little more. Um, I can't remember what the Pikmin song was that I did. I'm like, I kind of want to do more Pikmin. I think that'd be fun. Um, I can't remember if, it, if I put it on my iPad or not. So maybe let's just double check. It was like um, like a garden one. Oh, Forest of Hope. Okay, it wasn't a garden, it was a forest. Let's do that. Especially with the blob of ears strung together, that's the last three years I know. Last three years is just like... It's, it's kind of crazy. How fast is this? One, twelve. One, two, three, four. I love it. Form and Spike, welcome back. All right. Nice. Um, I'm feeling a little bit of Dire Dire Ducks for our next song. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Yeah, I was thinking about making today a water stream and then I was like, like a water theme stream. I suppose we still can if we want to. But I was just like, I don't know. Just whatever. Feels good for the music today. Um, but yeah, requests will start in about 10 minutes. I'm going to pick a few more songs and then we'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> water sponsorship. Yeah, I'm water. I'm sponsored by H2O today. Thank you to our sponsor. <laughs> These games are in a small way a part of who I am today. It's so true, isn't it? So true. Let's do today. Um, let's do some Pokemon. Not to be confused with Pikmin. Let's do Verdant Turf Town. A little bit of Pokemon for us. Oh wait. Actually, you know what? I want my music stand a little higher. Because hopefully my camera doesn't get too excited about it, but like, I don't know. My neck otherwise is feeling a little uncomfortable, so I'm gonna do that. I think that looks okay. for us there. That's Verdant Turf Town. Thank you, thank you. Also, for anyone who's just joining us right now, just a reminder, we do have a new video premiere right after stream ends today. I'm pretty sure I set the premiere to 12.05. Maybe I should double check that. 
I'm pretty sure I did that so that I would like comfortably have enough time to like finish stream and get us all over there. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the time I set it to, but I would hate to be late to my own premiere. You know what I mean? Like that would just be like mildly embarrassing. Um, the premiere is set for 12.05. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay, good. Just checking. Thank you. Mm, ice cream and popcorn. Both are so good. I've been, I've been like kind of on a popcorn kick, I feel like, the last several months. Um... I feel like playing Sidon's theme. This is from Breath of the Wild. slower really compliments it yeah I was like you know we're gonna go for like chilled outside in today <laughs> to fit the mood there we go okay I am gonna open up the floor for requests so um, if you're new or haven't been in a while how it works is you can request a song you'd like to hear in the chat um, you're more likely to have your request played if it's something that you know I have in my repertoire or if it's on VG Lead Sheets or if there's sheet music on MuseScore.com. Um, I do have to have some kind of sheet music to read off of if it's a song that I don't know. Um, but for various reasons, I'm not always able to play every single thing that's requested. So thanks in advance for being cool about it um, and not spamming super hard. Um, <laughs> so yeah, let's see. We have... After that earlier discussion of time flying, how about Song of Time? Let's do it. Do I have this in my iPad? I'm sure I, I must, right? Uh, I actually don't. How bizarre. Okay, let's go grab it. <laughs> let's go find it. it that's got to be on VG Lead Sheets, right? If it's not, then I will be flabbergasted. Uh, it's not. That's, I'm flabbergasted. As promised. Okay. 
that's fine. I'm just gonna do one more search just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, okay, I will look it up then. Could I figure it by ear? Probably. But... Okay. There we go. But I don't want to is the end of that sentence. All right. <laughs> two strings on a pedal harp there's this C and D string so every other string on my harp has these little discs on it and that's what lets me use a pedal to change the pitch of the string so like you can see like here but you can't actually see it because it's out of frame but the last two strings on the harp don't have any discs so you have to tune them to whatever pitch you want them to be and you can't change it while you're playing Okay. Down for whatever. Could you do either Four River or Song of the Ancients? Yeah, definitely could do that. We like Glenn Levitt. It's a good song. <laughs> um, okay, we have a couple of requests. Awesome. Um, let's start with... Let's do Song of the Ancients because I feel like... I don't know if I played that on stream recently. A little bit of near for us here. Helpful harp tips. I was about to say tisps. That's not quite it. Yeah, I don't know if they're too thick to put a disc on or if it's like there's not enough room for the mechanism. I don't know. Sometimes there are some harps where the top two strings also don't have a disc. Mine does, but sometimes they don't. Don't know why. But there you have it. Thank you. 
little bit of nearer. That one is Song of the Ancients. My daughter insisted on telling me the, telling you that she loves your music. Aw, well tell your daughter thank you. Ah, oh, I love that song. It's really nice. Okay. So ba -da -ba. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, uh why don't we do Glenn Livet next? So a little bit of a Actually, no, let's do it in a different order. We're gonna do, um, we're gonna do Four River first, and then we'll do Glen Levitt, because I think it's like a little too much uh, emotional whiplash to switch to Glen Levitt first. <laughs> okay, to the moon. Aerith Sea, yeah, we can do Aerith Sea today for sure. <laughs> All right, here we go, my creaky bench. Four River from Two the Moon. Ugh. I feel like my neck 
having some problems with my neck when I've been playing lately, but it's a work in progress as always. Okay, so let's do Glenn Livet next. Where did I save it? Uh, did I put it in here? Yes, I did. Good. Okay. Here we go. Okay. C major. Well, A minor, but still. All right. Change of pace. Next up is Glen Livet, which is a Scottish folk song. Here we go. Thank you very much. Nora is here to say hello. Hello. Okay, off you go. All right, so we had a request for uh, Aerith C. Once I can pull it up. Here we go. Do I have a first, any tips for a first time cat mother? Um, I 
I guess if I had to give a tip, I would just say if your cat is scratching something, you don't want them to scratch. Put a scratching post next to that thing. So for example, you can kind of see it, but I have a scratching post on top of my piano. Because when I put the foam up on the walls, Nora was like, oh, just for me to scratch. So I put that up there and then that that's, has stopped her. She doesn't really use the scratching post that much, but if I take it down, she'll go right up there and scratch the foam on the walls. I don't know. Bit weird, but... That's my tip. Okay. Earth C. Let's go. Uh, okay. Xenoblade Chronicles. How old are both of my cats? Um, Bilbo, we don't know exactly because we got him when he was already an adult, but he is like probably at least 10 years old. Um, maybe older, but he doesn't really act very old. I think Nora keeps him young. She is just over three years old. <laughs> He's an old man. He is a little bit of an old man. He likes to sleep. He likes his cuddles. But, I don't know, I don't want to think of him as an old man. I'm like, no, pets aren't allowed to get older. But he doesn't, I don't know, like he, he doesn't act that much older than when I got him, honestly. And I've had him for almost six years? Oh my god. He's probably more than ten years old, I don't know. But, Nora is just a baby, I thought she was older. <laughs> She's not, she's not that old, yeah, she's very tiny though. 
Did we adopt Nora as a kitten? Yes, we adopted Nora when she was, I think about two months old. Yeah. So I think her birthday is at the end of April. So she is, and we got her in 2020, so. Mm -hmm. she, she was really cute. She looked really sad all the time. But like right away, as soon as we got her, she was just like obsessed with Bilbo and would like follow him around and like try to play with his tail. And like Bilbo is just like so confused. He's like, I don't know what to do with this tiny ball of fur. Because uh, Bilbo really likes other cats as well, but it's just like she's so small. Like she would follow him around and like try to bait him into playing with her, you know? So she would kind of like bap at him and like roll on her back and be like, come on, let's play. She still does that. Um, but at the time, like, cause Bilbo would be like, oh, he'd like pull a paw back and then be like, wait, you're tiny. And then just the gentlest, like, eh. <laughs> so they're best friends. Still remember the days when Nora fit in the palm of your hand. I know she was so tiny. Surprised that you got Bilbo and Nora to get along with the seven years or so between them. I'm not cause Bilbo loves every cat. Bilbo loves every cat. Uh, pretty much. So, I'm not that surprised about it. And then Nora just was, like, instantly obsessed with him, so. And she was quite young, so I feel like it's easier for a young cat to kind of get along with other cats if they grow up with them, but. I know. They're really cute. But, yeah, if ever, like, like, if someone visits and they, like, bring their cats or whatever, Bilbo is, like, super excited about it. He's like, yay, new friends! Even if the other cats are a little bit like, what the heck? <laughs> He'll just, like, run. Like, one time our, our friend brought his cat over, and, like, the other cat was, like, feeling shy, whatever. Nora's just, like, super pissed. Nora is super rude to other cats, except for Bilbo. But, like, Bilbo just, like, woke up from his nap, ran down the stairs, went right up to this other cat, like, basically, like, nose-booped him, and was like, okay, we're friends now. <laughs> the other cat was like, what? I don't understand. What's happening? Uh, yeah, he's a friendly guy. Um, okay, so I think we have time for... I don't know, we're cutting it a little close, but... Probably could maybe do, like, two more songs. Including... Um, Long Long Ranch. So I think way earlier we had a request for Fi's theme. I don't know if that person is still here, but we could do that. For something to play. Okay. Let's do Fi's theme, and then we'll do Long Long Ranch, and then we'll head over to the video premiere. Here we go.
second last measure. But anyway, love that tune. Really, really good. <clears throat> okay, five minutes till Hikari hype. So we are going to finish off the live stream portion of today with uh, Long on Ranch, as usual. Right after that, um, we'll end the stream and then we're going to go over to the video premiere of Hikari from Octopath Traveler 2. Um, when the stream ends, you should be redirected to the premiere, but in case you don't, there are also uh, links in the pin chat of the stream as well as the description of the stream that you can use to get over there. And uh, thanks for being here today. Really appreciate it. Uh, but with, before we go, before we head over there, we are going to hear a little Lawn Lawn Ranch on pedal harps this week. Do that on Lever Harvey <laughs> unless I make an arrangement. So I'm going to end the stream, and then I hope I will see you uh, at the video premiere of Hikari the Warrior. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs>